Alright guys, welcome back for another video. Um, this video, it's not a mystery box today. Um, today, this is just a regular eBay purchase. I got uh, a lot of 21 books from the Death of Superman line. I think it came out in the early 90s. Uh, this was one of the stories that captivated me when I was a kid, you know. It really got me reading comic books more just to see, you know, a character that was so powerful and so, you know, just seemed like they could never be stopped. And then they, you know, they put Doomsday up against him and he wound up, you know, they wound up killing each other in the end of that storyline. Or the main storyline. But then, you know, he returned. But um, it was a great... I, I recommend anybody who likes comics to go back and read the storyline if they haven't. It was one of my best memories growing up, you know, reading those books. <clears throat> so... I got an awesome deal on this. I, I kept it in my, car, in my you know, watch list forever, waiting for maybe the price to drop, which it did. And as soon as it did, I swooped in on it and got it. So for the 21 books, I wound up paying $14.99 plus $6 shipping. <coughs> So that's less than a dollar, you know, even with shipping, that's less than a dollar a book. And, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I've got the majority of these books already. But where I read them so much as when I was a kid, they're not in the greatest condition. These look like they was in really good condition. Got, got the order on the top. <clears throat> All right. Oh. <clears throat> I say that. Well, the peanuts in the bottom of the box. I got a little worried there for a minute. They was gonna be everywhere, but for some reason there's just one in the very bottom of the box. Did do a good job packaging. This box wrapped and then bagged again. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go over these pretty quick. I don't. I doubt they're in any sort of order. Say most of you all already know what most of these books are. So first one we got is Reign of Superman, Superman Back for Good, number 82. Really nice cover on that. It's in great condition. Okay. And we've got The Adventures of Superman. Number 501. So these are kind of little break offs of each of the different. Um, after Superman passed, um, there were several, I guess you could say, imposter Superman that popped up. And each one of them had their own key issue like this that had the die cut Superman logo. And then they had their own storyline until. You know, he came back. <clears throat> Which this one is a uh, Superboy. Really cool covers on those. <clears throat> and this one is. So, Superman 78. This one is for Cyborg. The Cyborg Superman. Which turned out to be. Well, I'm not going to spoil it for everybody. But. If you haven't read any of these, but really a cool character. <clears throat> Alright, this 
this one is the Man of Steel. That's number 22. And we've got <coughs> um, Superman Action Comics number 687. And this was the, I think it was called the Eradicator. Kind of a different take on Superman's character. <coughs> okay, so this was one of, so they came out with two issues. Um, one of them was Black Bag, and that was the death of Superman, which had the, that comic with it, and this was, so the white one was when he came back. Um, I think I already have several of these. I don't have the black one, and that's one I really need to get for my collection. I remember when I was a kid, they was going for insane amounts of money when they first came out. I think they had a little, um, I want to say it's like a wristband with it that had like Superman symbol and blood coming off of it. So that's one I need to go and look for and pick up soon just because it's something I don't have in my collection I've always wanted. I think now they're at a reasonable price where you can pick it up. <clears throat> so we got, so... After, you know, after they both died, they did a kind of a funeral for a friend series where, you know, it told story, it told the stories of everybody after, like, giving a kind of what happened after, you know, he passed away. And this is Superman, Man of Steel 21. Let's see, Clark Kent's mom running out to the father and field <clears throat> and we've got Supergirl number 686 who's in Superman's tomb alright this one is The Adventures of Superman number 499 nice cover on that one Move some of these out of the way here. Okay. Oh, got two of them. Alright. Well, I don't think I have this one in my collection. So this is Superman number 76. I like that cover a lot though, man. Superman, the Man of Steel, number 20. I can't remember if this had the full run of the funeral for a friend, but it's starting to look like it. <coughs> okay. Then we've got Supergirl in Action Comics, number 685. It's the homage cover. It's a Superman, one of the older Superman books. And then, so yeah, I think there is the full run of the funeral for the friend because this is number one. Um, the Adventures of Superman, number 498. That's a picture after. This final fight with Doomsday. <clears throat> all right. And again, all these books are in great condition. And this is a really a big book. This was the actual death. <clears throat> Tell you, I, I remember being so invested in this storyline, and you know, it was it was just crazy to see just the havoc that Doomsday just 
ran through everybody. So this is Superman number 75. <clears throat> Another great cover here. Again. Let's see. I, I want to say. I don't think this was the first appearance. But. <clears throat> I'll have to go back and check. But this is Superman. Man of Steel number 19. Superman Action Comics number 684 and Adventures of Superman number 497 I actually might think about having sending some of these off and get them graded because they are in really great shape and we've got Superman Doomsday number 74. Nice cover. And we've got Superman the Man of Steel number 18. I actually think this could be the first appearance of Doomsday. So we've got several key books that was in this set here. I, I'm more than I, I'm 100% positive I did <laughs> probably got triple the value, if not way more than that, of the you know out of this set. I'm not sure about this one. What it has to do with the series? I'll have to look that up, but it's. Superman Action Comics number 683. <clears throat> and then, last book we've got Superman the Man of Steel number 17. The Underworld Rises Again. Alright, I just want to really quickly check and see this book right here is the first appearance or no take the back first cameo appearance of doomsday and let's see is this any kind of variant so this is the first so this is the first print. It's in great condition. So by the key collector app, this is worth anywhere from you know thirty-five dollars for a high grade to mid grade ten dollars. I would say. I mean, I, I'm not a grader or anything, but I don't see any spine ticks. Corners look good. Maybe a little ding on the cor left corner over here. I would say this is at least somewhere around a nine, you know, nine point oh. So this should be around, you know, thirty to twenty five dollar comic just by itself. You know, that paid for the box right there. <coughs> Trying to find the actual. So this one I didn't know about. This is the Death of Superman Part 2. And a cameo of Doomsday Escaping Prison. Okay, so... This book right here is the actual first appearance of Doomsday. Again, it's in great shape. No spine ticks. And 
Key Collector app has this going from or anywhere from around $25 for a high grade to 8 for a mid grade. So this book, you know, is around $20 to $25. So, you know, just off two books, there's like 50 bucks right there just in value. So I got a great deal on these. Can't beat it for the storyline. Like I said, if you haven't read it, please go back and check it out. It's an awesome storyline. And, you know, one of the great ones from my childhood. But, um, if you like these videos, um, you know, I try to do a couple of videos that are not just mystery box unboxings every now and then. Um, please make sure you scroll down, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, appreciate y'all checking out my channel today and should have some more videos coming up soon.